Hey everyone, anyone who's used Windows for long enough, whether it's Windows 11, Windows 10, the version doesn't really matter, has eventually run into the infamous blue screen of death. The problem isn't the screen itself. The real problem is how difficult it can be to figure out what actually caused it and what you need to do to fix it. By default, when a blue screen of death occurs, Windows creates memory dump files. You can find them in the mini dump folder inside your Windows directory. These files contain the data that can help you figure out, if not the exact cause, at least a general idea of what went wrong. But this is where we hit the next problem. We don't have a lot of great tools for analyzing these dump files. One of the most simplest and popular ones is a tool called Blue Screen View. But there's a major catch with it. It almost always points the finger at a core Windows kernel file. But that file isn't the actual culprit, it's just the process that was running when the system crashed. So this information isn't really useful for actually fixing anything. Then you have more serious professional grade tools like WinDBG from Microsoft. It gives you all the information you could possibly need, generating a detailed report that looks something like this. It even supports different commands. So we can, for example, find out which drivers were loaded and running at the moment of the crash. The problem here is that for most users, especially beginners, it's impossible to understand what to do with this information or what this report is even talking about. So with all that in mind, I tried to create a solution, an online service I build called BSOD Analyzer. It automatically analyzes your memory dumps using WinDBG in the background and then it interprets the results from an expert's point of view. Let me show you how it works. It's a free multilingual project. The link will be in the description below this video. All you have to do is upload your memory dump file. A quick tip, if it doesn't upload directly from the mini dump folder, copy it to your desktop first and upload it from there. Sometimes the browser doesn't have the right permissions to access that system folder. Okay, so we upload the file, send it for analysis, and just wait for the results. What we get back is first the raw data from WinDBG, but all of that is analyzed for you. What follows is a simple, plain English explanation of why the crash happened and what you can do to prevent it from happening again. In this example, we can see the crash is related to virtualization features and the security functions built on top of them. It also lists additional factors like the Faceit anti-cheat and possibly a virtual drive driver from Daemon Tools. And right after that, you get clear recommendations on what you can do to fix the problem. I really think this could be incredibly helpful for a lot of people and finally make sense of those frustrating blue screens. If you give it a try, I would love to see your feedback on the tool in the comments. It'll really help with development as the project is still very much at work in progress. We'll see where it all goes in the future. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.